What's going on with you guys? It is BQ. I'm on the go. I'm on the move. It's dedication for the channel. I got off at 10 a.m. this morning, slept four hours, and I'm on the way back to work. So uh, if I look exhausted, it's because I am. Um, been super busy lately with work. I can't even tell you guys, but I don't want to let the channel suffer. So uh, you're getting this content on the go. And uh, just like TW did the Cool Factor podcast yesterday, he's a, he's a busy man too, but we're trying to get uh, this content during this rebellion time out to you guys. I got a couple topics for you. This is the Impact Lounge. It's the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. There's one thing I wanted to talk to you guys a couple days ago about, and it was uh, Tony Khan's comments about promoting rebellion, the uh, the relationship with AEW Impact being, you know, one one sided for the most part. After we talk about that, I'm going to tell you what I think, where I think they're going with Rich Swan. I don't think it's too far off base, folks. Uh, you know, there's times where we get into our heads fantasy booking and there's even shit that I say on this channel where I'm like, hey, I think this is where they're going and it's nowhere near that. I don't think this is too far off, off base, what they're going to do. So let's talk to Tony Khan first of all. He appeared on Busted Open Radio and they asked him about, you know, rebellion, maybe not promoting rebellion. Uh, the, the partnership being one way. And he says, uh, you know what? Let's let's look at the article. We're going to read the article and then we're going to talk about it real quick. All right. So here's the article. AEW's Tony Khan explains why Impact Wrestling's Rebellion hasn't been promoted more on AEW Dynamite. So we're going to scroll down here um, a little bit. And he said, people will be challenging. Or well, let's start, start above there. It says, Khan appeared on Wednesday's edition of Busted Open Radio and explained why the door between AEW and Impact has seemingly been one way. So, quote, uh, Kenny will be challenging for the Impact title this weekend. Khan said, people have asked me why I haven't gone out and spent a lot of money on promoting Rebellion. It's when I've gone to your guys' show to promote my cards, I've had to pay and buy ads. So it's kind of on Impact. Very true. Here's a little free ad for me. Kenny Omega is coming up this weekend, Impact Wrestling. He's going to be wrestling for the world title. It's possible Rich Swan could be the AW champion next week. It's also quite possible Kenny Omega will be the Impact champion, the AAA champion, and, of course, the AEW champion but we shall see next week. All right, so he's not he's not totally wrong, right? It is Impact's job to promote their match, their pay-per-view. Um, you know, recently, NWA had a pay-per-view, Thunder Rosa wrestled number one contenders match for the NWA championship, which is on Dynamite, but they didn't promote that. You know what I mean? This is a little different because Rich Swan very well could be their champion. So you, you would think there'd just be some kind of mention. But he's not wrong. If he's really paying for these ads, that's him getting out in front of things and saying, I'm going to make this relationship work for me. So is, is Impact doing what they're supposed to do to make the re relationship work for them? I don't know. You know, I'm not saying they should buy ad space necessarily. They got the, the commercial on Dynamite last week promoting Rebellion. So that's obviously a tremendous step in the right direction, but are they doing what they got to do to make the relationship work for them? Now, here's the difference, though. Tony Khan is right about this. He doesn't have to promote another company's pay-per-view and match, regardless of who's in it from his company, because Kenny Omega does have, uh, you know, a, a side, uh, he has a feud on Dynamite. You know what I mean? If it would be very different if Rich Swan is his only feud. That being said, the AEW title is on the line, so we would think there would be some kind of mention, and uh, none whatsoever. You know, I think when they had this put this partnership together, Impact was like, "Just give us Kenny Omega, we'll handle the rest." You know what I mean? I don't think they really, uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't think they really thought about how this would play out if they weren't getting the, the promotion on Dynamite. So, um, with that being said. I think Tony Khan is right. It, it is up to impact. But when you've got Rich Swan, uh, uh, you know, potentially showing up on your show or your champion potentially showing up with the impact titles, I mean, you would think it would be on there. That would make all, se all the sense in the world, right? But one part about the article I didn't really agree with was that the article said Rich Swan could potentially show up on their show without the majority of the wrestling audience knowing who he is now this is incorrect rich swan is a wwe cruiserweight champion competed at wrestlemania has been in front of more eyeballs and bigger crowds than a majority of the aw roster so uh that i don't want to hear that is not true that is completely false people in the wrestling world know who rich swan is that is horse shit 
Now that being said, this is where I think they're going with Rich Swan. I don't think I'm far off off with this. We expect them to lose this match. There's there's nothing uh, there's nothing pointing towards him winning it. If he wins, awesome. I'll be happier than anybody. But there's there's no arrows pointing towards him winning. And if you watch AEW, there are storylines pointing more towards uh, Don Callis' little stable there of the Young Bucks, Good Brothers, and Kenny Omega having a bunch of titles. You know what I mean? So that's that's part of it too. This is where I think they're going with it. When I'm watching this past episode of Impact and they're doing the little video packages of who you got, Swan, Swan or Omega, and everyone said Rich Swan. It, it, was, it didn't matter. Heel, Babyface, they said we're Team Swan, we're Team Impact, there are titles. Moose came down and was like, do not, you know, give me some advice. Do not lose those belts. You know what I mean? Don't do it. So th then it kind of hit me. Okay, Rich Swan is going to lose the belts. And I think the Impact locker room is going to turn their back on him. I don't think it's, they're not going to like attack him or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I think they're going to, the company is going to be disappointed. Like you were supposed to be our dude. You were supposed to be our champion, our representative. Now look at us. You know what I mean? Especially if the Good Brothers win the titles back, say, hey, you know, they took care of business. They they, they brought the belts back to Impact. But what about you? I could write Rich Swan off TV for a while to retool him in, into, you know, a slightly different character. I don't say repackage because he's he doesn't need a repackaging, but you retool him. And, you know, they could do some really cool video packages document, docu documenting his road to recovery. And... Uh, you know, he'd be he'd be coming from the, the place of the ultimate underdog, the ultimate baby face, because, you know, imagine Rich, uh, excuse me, Willie Mack, you know, disappointed in him, turned his back, Eddie Edwards. You know what I'm saying? They could tell an amazing story with this that uh, would benefit the impact audience a lot, because I think we'd be really interested in following it and seeing seeing where it goes and how it elevates Swan. And then you can tie that into, well, who's going to go get this title from Omega? And eventually everyone may have to come together again. You know what I mean? So I think there's a there's a very long-term story here. Because we know Rich Swans, if he loses, not gonna get a rematch. They really pick and choose the rematch clause. Uh, that's why I hate that stipulation that just they just randomly throw out there sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't exist. It's not gonna happen because they're not gonna do Swan versus Omega 2 at the next pay-per-view. I highly doubt that. They're not gonna have Swan appear on Dynamite, clearly. So that's where I think they're going with it. Uh, Moxley and K Eddie Kingston do need to recruit some dudes to, to feud with these guys. So it would it would there's no nothing even storyline wise on Dynamite that that suggests who they could pick from the AEW side. So as much as I want to see like Swan and a couple dudes show from Impact with that, I don't think that's necessarily what's going to happen. I do think Swan is going to kind of be written off TV for a while. Uh, maybe go through depression, he's drinking, he's, you know what I mean? It could be a very, very intricate story that uh, I think everyone would enjoy. So that's that's where I think they're going with it. I could be way off, but I, I don't think I'm that far off. And at the end of the day, as much as I am picking Rich Swan to win this match because I want him to win, he's most likely not going to. Impact benefits more from Kenny Omega being on their show as champion. Uh, a lot more so than than Rich Swan. I mean, that's that's just what it boils down to. So I think it's going to happen. It's just a matter of how we get there. I think this match is going to elevate Swan quite a bit. Even you know, this is one of the the one, the one match Melter's going to be watching for Impact. You know what I mean? Uh, what if he hits it with a five star rating? You know what I mean? Like it, it's gonna it's gonna benefit Swan quite a bit to be a part of this. It's going to elevate him. But now we have a chance to go deep. With Rich Swan, because you remember that the, he had the feud with Sammy Callahan. They started going deep a little bit, and you know that really played out very well. So that's what I think they're gonna do. Could be way off, <laughs> but I'm rolling with it. This is the Impact Lounge. Thanks for checking me out, guys. I'm out. Peace.